Jesus Christ! Jesus! This video was brought to you by Honey. This is a balloon filled with air, and if I place it over this flame, well, that was predictable. But now, if I place the second balloon over the exact same flame, well, nothing happens. Pretty freaky, right? The trick here is that I fill the second balloon with a little bit of water, and water happens to be very good at conducting and holding heat. It's in fact so good that it is able to remove most of the heat from the balloon. And even though I'm explaining this to you, it's still perplexing to me how this thin plastic membrane is not melting. For a while now I've been trying to 3D print a jet engine in plastic, which is not a great idea since the result tends to be the same. But what if with some clever design I was able to use water to cool the engines and thus make them not melt? Just like this balloon. So, this is my very simple idea. I want to 3D print a combustion chamber with a hollow space all around it, so I can pump water through it. Then I'm gonna inject butane gas and air into the combustion chamber and use a spark plug to ignite everything. If this works as well as it did for the balloon, well, the engine should survive. So, let's 3D print it, because this is just half of it. Okay, so here we have the hollow casing. Um, I have this 12 volt pump connected to this tank of water and I'm gonna see if I have any leaks before I test it with combustion. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah, seems to be working well. Okay, time to connect this. Water. We have leaks! Oh god! <laughs> but it worked! We have a leak here, or something like that, at the base, where it's not protected by the water, but all the rest of the engine, even the nozzle, I mean, the little hole that is here, um, is doing pretty well. I think this, is, this might actually work. Yeah! Okay, so what happened is, uh, it overheated. Did you see there? It cracked. Yeah, it cracked there. And it started to burn all around. That's a pretty cool show though. I just need to redesign this and try to find another way to do this. Maybe this this inner wall is just too thin, or or maybe I need more water or something like that. I need to try new designs. Yeah. Let's get cracking. By the way, um, I'm using this resin 3D printer to get my models. They use this purple light to center the layers and thus get the 3D part. Hello my friends, here we are for another test. Uh, so this is the new design, as a slightly shorter uh, combustion chamber and new diffuser. I think the new diffuser is gonna work pretty well. Also the ignition now is not using a spark plug, it's just using two rods which go into the center of the combustion chamber. up look even the nozzle even the nozzle is doing pretty well oh but the defeat okay so Houston we got a problem I was just looking at this and the the diffuser is fuming and it's cracked look at this which means the combustion is going backwards not good not good for business I need to find a way to protect the diffuser yeah sponsor time for my projects, I sometimes need equipment or components that I can't find locally, and to get them, I need to go online and do a little bit of the good old shopping, which is fast in delivery, but also sometimes pricey. To save myself some money, I use this online shopping tool called Honey. Honey is this very useful online shopping tool that searches for promo codes so you don't have to. Once you have Honey, and you're buying stuff online you would buy anyway, in websites you already use, all you need to do is apply the coupons and save yourself a little bit of extra cash. 
I myself have been using honey for a while now, and I think just in the last couple of months I saved about $300. The best part of it all is that honey is free, so you can easily add it to your browser using the link in the description down below. Joinhoney.com slash Intexa. I don't know why I said it like that. Sorry. Online shopping can sometimes be tricky, but honey makes it cheaper. Back to the video. So I need to find a way to protect the diffuser from the heat and from those small explosions that are propagating backwards. I have an idea. The problem is I think most of you might think that I'm cheating because it's not 3D printing. But truth be told, nobody gets anywhere in life without a little bit of cheating. You lose. It is a done! Many holes, it's a me, Mario! Very nice, can you see me? You cannot filter time! Hello! Okay, so the general idea here is basically I 3D printed the same parts. Is that a nut? I 3D printed the same parts. This one is exactly the same, but this one no longer has the diffuser bit. Uh, instead of that, I'm going to use this template in sheet steel metal. Um, the, the point of this is to protect this part from the heat and the explosions. This one is going to still be protected by the water. If everything goes according to plan, this should survive, but let's test it. Okie dokie, so we have here the metal plated engine. I'm going to start by testing the water pumping. Leaks. We are back again. I think I got rid of the leaks. Let's give it a test. No leaks? Nice. Jesus Christ! Jesus! Oh no, it broke again. It broke again! Look at this. It's too powerful. The explosions are propagating backwards and basically they are destroying the diffuser. Maybe I just need to build a more bulky one? Yeah, that's exactly what I need to do. So I did it. I designed the diffuser with a little bit more hump. Let's print it. Look, he's ready. Oh yeah! Here you go, and you get that. Okay, so, as you can see, I made the part a little bit stronger by making it thicker. I did a, a fillet here, and I also added these ribs. So, hopefully the explosions that happen when I'm trying to start the ignition are not going to destroy this one. Well, let's give it a test. I'm going to assemble the engine now. I think we still have problems with uh, with the cooling. Okay, so this is what happened on the inside. As you can see, it completely broke. You can see the hollow part now. I think I need to find another solution for the inside. Yeah. Or I can just change the liquid from water to something a little bit cooler, like literally. And what's cooler than water? Well, how about liquid butane? Liquid butane is pretty cold. It's like liquid nitrogen. It's able to freeze stuff. And the cool thing about liquid butane is that to get it, the only thing that I really need to do is turn the can upside down. As you can see, the main idea here is I have these channels which are connected to this entrance here where I'm going to place the, the inlet for the fuel. But if I test it with a little bit of alcohol, you can see that the alcohol is going to go through the interior channels, through these ones, down. Yeah, 
is working pretty well. Idea. So my butane cooling idea didn't really work. Don't judge me, everyone has the right to have stupid ideas from time to time. Especially on this project where I'm trying to 3D print a jet engine. But anyway, I'm gonna go back to the water-cooled design. I think the reason why it works so well with the balloon is because the membrane is so thin. So I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna 3D print the exact same design with a thinner wall. As always, first comes ignition. So, I know the engine failed, per se, it got a leak, but you have no idea how hot this is. Like, and it's still in one piece. I mean, you have some leaks here in the joint where the metal got hot, but still, the chamber, the combustion chamber is intact. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. I mean, it works. I'm just not getting to the perfect design, but uh, it does work. Like, you can water cool a 3D printed jet engine. I knew it. I knew it. Look at this. Right? This part where the, the metal diaphragm is in contact with, all burnt, but inside, almost nothing. How cool is that? It's pretty cool, right? You have to admit it. A jet engine made out of plastic. Who would imagine it? I mean, technically speaking, it's not plastic, it's resin, but still, pretty amazing. In the end, my engine was not perfect. I mean, it melted. But that's the exact reason why I like to have a YouTube channel because there's a lot of people out there that are smarter than me and might just be able to perfect this. So if you're interested, you can find the 3D models in the description of the video. If you do have an idea to improve on the design, but you don't have a 3D printer, I can help with that. On my last video, I gave away two 3D printers to comments suggesting a theme for a future video. The winners were Brad Smith and BZD. If you also want to win a 3D printer, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and post a comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The most liked comment will receive a brand new 3D printer. Well, um, this is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching and remember, tomatoes are disgusting. See ya! Balloon with a little bit of water. And water! <laughs> I'm gonna connect it. Oh shit. English. English, help me. Give me this ring.